is Coco Gray. That is my real name. I am a visual artist, a curator, a business owner, a grad student, and a photographer. I created Pigment Series during a time when racial tension and discrimination and um, discrimination against uh, queer people, and there was just a lot of stuff happening around that time. Um, when I originally started Pigment, it was actually through... Um, a class I was taking a couple quarters before uh, was my photo criticism class. So I started that series around that time, thinking about what was happening to all my friends while I was living down south, what was happening to the black community at large when it came to the transition of power, AKA Trump, um, but also everything else that was in between, like racial killings from the police officers, um, a lot of just racial violence against black women, like a lot of violence against trans and um, queer people. It's just been a lot of stuff that was happening. So when I created this series, I just wanted to create a safe space for everyone, especially black people, to just take a minute to breathe for a second, you know. I wanted it to be um, an I wanted it to be an experience for people to just be able to do something creatively different where it wasn't having to focus so much on the onsets of what was happening um, in the country and around the world during that time. So when I continued this series from Charleston to Rochester, it became such a big movement for so many people because it allowed a lot of people to just have a chance to exist as they are without worry worry of persecution, without worry of um, discrimination, without worry of judgment or ridicule. I just wanted something that would give people a chance to just be celebrated, you know? Around that time, especially for black women and even um, fat and plus size women, it was just the whole stigma of just body image was such a big issue. And I just wanted something to give, I wanted to give somebody, I wanted to give everyone the chance to just do something different. So pigment became a whole thing where people came in and just talked. People came in and played music. People came in to interact. People came in and got involved in different ways. And I was truly, truly happy and truly blessed for the mission that pigment has started. And I'm hoping that it continues to do um, in the next years to come.